everybody and welcome to an episode of Jurassic World the game. Are you excited? You should be, because I'm here. So, what do we have going on today? Well, there is a new creature, but hold on, let me just, uh, you know, collect all my tickets and my gold. As well as two Ramphorhynchus, that's not so bad now, is it? No. Oh, we could get a Brachiosaur if we really wanted to. Also, I always put in a super rare every day so I can just, you know, get an extra 600 DNA. Um, also, oh, yes, might as well just do that. That speeds up, doesn't it? Yes, I'll take that. I'll also, yes, I'll trade that because we are going to need it. Because over this weekend, there is a new creature. Uh, that is in the game. Uh, let me just have a quick check. I don't really care about give, getting rid of those. Uh, oh my What on earth? What is that? That's the, what is this nonsense? 352 coin for a John Hammond. That's the most I've ever seen it. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Did the mic was the mic weird there? Because it made me really loud, and now it's made me really quiet. Oh god, okay, so I'm, something ha weird happened there. I do apologize. <laughs> it just freaking blew out. Whee! Okay, uh, you know what, I'm going to trade that, because I... Honestly, if I'd rather get a trade for John Hammond, because you get more uh, bucks for that. Uh, not really bothered about that. Food, I might be tempted to trade for. Um, you know, I'll get rid of the Pagoda Garden. Um, and do another 50, our last chance to see if we can get any bucks, and unfortunately, no. But, we can trade another Pagoda Garden, and we're definitely not doing that trade. So, of course, we're going to get decorations, loyalty points, and we're going to get our guaranteed, every day, 600. Well, basically, like, 800, probably. Well, but it's 700, 700 VIP points you can get every day in the game just by making John Hammond statues. Whether it's supposed to be there or not, I'm not too fussed. I'll take it. <laughs> I think if it is supposed to be there, it's a nice little Easter egg that John Hammond still has a purpose. Oh, God rest his soul. Um, so, yeah, we also have a lot of, um, oh, wait, I need to do another co code 19. Ooh, that's interesting, isn't it? So, a collector card pack. Oh, another 30 bucks. Um, yes, the new tournament creature, which I'm hoping I've checked. Or is this video just going to be wasted? Oh, oh, no, there it is. There it is, the Elasmatherium. Is it called Elasmatherium or is it like the woolly mammoth? No, it's a woolly rhino. Because I think we already have, uh, the Elasmatherium, so... But before we do that, oh god, just fling myself off to the side. Well, you know, we'll collect some food. There's no real need to collect any coin. But we do have more levels to give. Well, I say levels, two levels to give to Omega 09. So one, two, and that's it. There we go. So we're almost level 30, getting towards level 40, which is the highest that it can be. So one more level, we'll be at level 30. And then, level 31, we'll get the final uh, upgrade or unlock, um, which is 200 bucks. Mm. 35 feet in length, this creature is slightly smaller than Indominus Rex. What, are you kidding me? Why would it be smaller? He's way bigger. I can bring Indominus Rex over and show you. God. Right, so you're here for one reason and one reason only. That's right, to see the battles. So here we go. From zero to hero. Beaver the best. Zero to hero. You would have thunk. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Here we're just gonna we're gonna exit out of that one. No. No no. No no no. Uh is it okay if I just stop and then go back in now? No 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 oh, no stop. There, there we go. <laughs> So I wasted five bucks. I think if I closed the game, it would have been okay. But I don't want to do that. That's... Oh, hello, Code 90. I'll take it. I'll take it. We need this for the Omega missions. Yeah, so it's going to take... Like, we got Omega 09 to level 30 relatively quick. I mean, I have missed out on a couple of uh, 180s and 150s. So if I'd done all the missions the way I was supposed to. I would probably have Omega at level 30 or level 31 at the moment, but I don't. Um, which, it'll put me back a little bit, uh, as long as I continuously, from here on out, uh, make sure to do it properly. But we'll see, we'll see. If I miss days, I might miss days. So, I'm, I'm interested because they said that there was new uh, bosses coming in 2021. 
which is now. <laughs> and we're already coming up to February, two months out of 12. Well, one month, I suppose. One month then. Uh, there you go, complete that, and I think that's just a regular. There it is, 18, going towards the boss. Right, let's not let's not mess this up, and that's another daily mission, sorta. Of. Not that I need it, I don't think. Um, right. Uh, they're too good. These are all too good. How about you, Alambia? Alambia. Oh, oh. Ooh, should, you know what I should do? I should read the comments from the last video, which was when we maxed up the boss trike. Uh, <laughs> Rev boy. Wow. This series has gone on for so long. It's not, it's not wrong, you know. <laughs> uh, James getting mauled by toast in the background. Ah, you're referring to the, the video, yes. That, that, was a, that was a fun one to make. I enjoyed making that video. It was completely done on the fly. Um, do I say on the fly? It wasn't really. I think I had a, had a, like a little script. I had an idea um, of how, how it was gonna go. But a lot of times when it comes to camera angles and stuff like that, it, it is just made up on the fly. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Uh, can I kill him? I mean, I don't really want to, but, oh, I can't. Well, I, I got pretty close. Whoa, Now, could you kill me, please? Thank you. That's very helpful. So I'm just checking to see what why is hitting whatever. My, this iPad is the most temperamental thing in the world. If you're a fan of this series, you've probably seen them many a times when I've had to put in the, when I've lost connection. No idea why it happens, really. I don't need, like my iPad's just on a table and I'm not even touching it and sometimes it'll, it'll just go off and be like, nah. <laughs> Whenever it does, it freezes the actual game. So I don't know whether it's my iPad that's causing the error or if it's cables, but you know what? We, I think, oh, I have bought a replacement. I've bought a replacement HDMI, I bought a replacement uh, connector, which is like Thunderbolt to HDMI, I think that's what Mac calls it. Um, but still, still have the issue, still persists. Persists to me since 2015. Uh, I remember the, the good old days when I would mirror my display to, um, to my Mac. I don't even remember what uh, what program that was. Oh God, what was that called? Oh, I don't even remember. I really don't. Like that was when, like, I didn't know how to record mobile games. I was like, how do how do people do this? Uh, uh. <laughs> eventually, I found that way that you mirror uh, footage onto. Um, onto the PC and then I could, or onto the Mac that I was using at the time, and then I could just screen record that footage. Oh my God, there we go. Skipped the the blue one, um, Prey. Is it Prey? You got Hatchling, Prey, then Survivor. Skipped, skipped, Prey on a flippin' blimmin' Survivor. That's more like it, yes. Uh, actually, you know what it is? I think we've got missions to use amphibians, so sod it. I may, you know, we may as well just keep on going. <laughs> uh, for the, um, what do you call it? For the Omega or 9 missions. If we're gonna do this, we might as well keep on, you know, kill, kill, um, uh, two birds with one stone is the, is the saying, I think. Yes, yes, a good saying it is, yes. <laughs> uh, however, it's a bit of a nuisance because now this raptor can't kill me in one hit. Maybe they'll go for two. Yes, that'd be very good, very good. But it won't, it won't do it, no. No, oh, it switches. This guy could, the Ramparinkas could. Ooh. Well, I'm just gonna go for three reserves. I'm gonna have to screenshot these comments, aren't I? Um, dear God, the nos was this Alex H. Dear God, the nostalgia from these videos. I used to watch these all the time. Thanks for the amazing childhood, Beeves. <laughs> oh, I didn't do anything in particular. I, I think I just, I just uploaded them. I think your, uh, your memories are of, um, of wherever you watched them in a, a simpler time. It's, it's crazy to me that I've been around on YouTube for so long that apparently I have nostalgia ability. <laughs> like, oh, Beaver, I remember Beaver. <laughs> Uh, one, two, I'm gonna factor, I'm gonna do a little bit extra, just in case. I think he might have had one block. But he didn't. No, he's dead. Um, what else, what else have we got? Um, 
<laughs> Alistair X says I should really be print screening these as we go. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save all these. Hold on, hold on, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna multitask here because I'm pretty sure I can't be killed by anything. Uh, so who's that? That was Alex H. Yes, we'll save you. We had uh, Sergio who was with the uh, the background me being killed by toast, and then Rev Boy. It was the first one I read out. Brilliant. Uh, what else we got? We got... Wait, here we go. Supreme Ethan. What's that? Supreme Ethan says, I've grown up with this series and feel compelled to watch it. <laughs> yes. Yes, my plan's working. <laughs> Wait, was Siri speaking in the background? I don't have a Siri. I have a, I have a phone, though, that did it. I think that's what you heard. My phone just all of a sudden started being started talking to me because it thought I spoke to it. Should speak when spoken to. Not just jump in our conversation, should it? E. Bruh. What is this is Cam Cameron Lol says, bruh, the series starred like what? Six years ago? I think it did. It's 2021 now. And this started in 20 uh 2015. It was probably very early in 2015, though. Because this game came out before the movie. And the movie came out, I think, in June? June or July. And, oh, you know what? I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's have a look. What is Jurassic World The Game Beaver? Let's just type that in. J-W-T-G Beaver. There it is. Episode 1. <laughs> oh, look at that. I got a, a Camp Cretaceous trailer. Brilliant! <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I can skip it. Good, good, good. Okay, so this was uploaded April 2015. I remember. I think it was literally the next day. So one night, we, I was keep. I, I remember it, it was. It was coming. It was on the horizon. Jurassic World: The Game was coming. I didn't know when or how. But it was, it was definitely here. It was definitely, it was definitely somewhere on an app store. And one night, must have been the, the 7th of April, one day prior to my first upload, I found that it had, somebody had downloaded it. Because somebody uploaded to a Jurassic Park builder group photos of the, um, of the Argentinosaurus, of, uh, of the Labyrinth, uh, whatever it's called. Um, it was all their feeding it or touching. It was the, yeah, it was their interact animations. Um, and I made like a little Instagram uh, video of me impersonating their voices. I think that might be in episode two. And I was like, okay, there's nothing I can do now. But first thing tomorrow, I will go into town. I will get myself an iPad because I don't have an iPad. <laughs> Because remember, Jurassic Park Builder, Dino Hunter Deadly Shores, all of those series, I only recorded on Facebook, on my actual uh, MacBook Pro. I didn't have an iPad or anything. Um, so I was like, you know what? All the money I've made from doing YouTube is going to go straight into uh, getting an iPad and just figuring out a way to record um, this Jurassic World the game. Because it's going to be big. It's going to be big. I saw the potential of Jurassic Park build. I was like, this is, this is going to be huge. Ooh, 600. Ooh, I'll take that. Yes. Mm. More, please. Moto, moto. Mmm. Tabi, tabi, die, desinga. But we'll keep on scrolling. Keep on scrolling. Here we go. That'll do. That'll do. I think we're in, we're in the Silver League now, I think. We're in the big boy leagues. Um, and the next day, I think I, I was like... Okay, I, 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 I'm making an account. I think I made everything before I even opened the app. Yeah, I recorded. So it's even got like, where I had to sign uh, like terms and agreement or something like that. I think it did. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, pro you proceed the following terms and conditions and privacy, yada, yada, yada. And look at it, look at the recording. I had no bars. The bars you see at the side of this video, they didn't exist in episode one. No, no, don't be silly. Episode two. Oh, there's another Camp Cretaceous. Ooh. Um, skip that. 
Now, episode two, no, episode two, I think was recorded straight up after episode one. <laughs> Literally, I remember that. I remember I recorded it right after, I think episode three. Yeah, I think I recorded like three or four episodes, one after another, back to back. Yeah, so hold on. So the first video went up on the 8th of April. I know they can't kill me. I, well, Skeletor might be able to, which is a little bit worrying. Uh, because it's level 5 and a hybrid. And oh my god, I might be dead. Oh no. Oh dear. 369, I think I might be dead. I think I might be dead, guys. I, 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 I should have. I should have known. Skeletor, please. Have mercy. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, well, as five enough to kill me? Yeah, probably. Uh, well, there you have it, eh? Uh, lost connection, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, April 8th, I uploaded the episode one. April, uh, episode two. Episode three. And, oh no, I didn't do. So I uploaded three episodes in one flipping day. And I think from there on out, I uploaded um, three episodes every day. I think it was. Yeah, I'm not taking any risks. I'm going there. I'm going there. So, episode 4 came out on the 9th. Episode 5 came out on the 9th. And uh, episode 6 came out on the 9th. Episode 7? It came out on the 10th, yeah. So, it was it was three episodes every flipping day. And I think I repeated that for like a solid week or something. Something ridiculous. And I remember, I remember like the biggest thing was getting i mean i mean whenever it comes to games you always want to see end game you want to see what you know like for instance subnautica everyone when it first came was like leviathan what is the leviathan what's that huge thing what what does it do where is it is it dangerous <laughs> exactly like that oh we got the love of sword gen 2 yeah we got loads of creatures in this game loads of tournament creatures came out recently uh i like the thumbnail for it that's quite nice um but with Jurassic World the game, like I said when it first came out, everyone was wanting to open those legendary packs and just to see what we could get in those legendary packs. But the only way that we, or at least that I knew, because it was me and uh, Connor, best in slot, who were sort of covering this game as soon as it came out, um, the only way uh, that we could play it was to make an Australian account. An Australian iOS, I ISO account, whatever you want to call it. ISO? Is that right? iOS, sounds better. Yeah, iOS, I think it is. Apple account, that one. But that meant that in order for us to add funds to our account, um, we needed uh, an Australian address, an Australian credit card, or, or debit card, you know, like basically you had to be an Australian citizen. Um, now, I couldn't do that because I don't live in Australia and I had no contacts in Australia at all. I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, think of uh, weird ways to, you know, wrangle my way into getting an Australian credit card or asking people to give me money or anything like that. Because um, it felt to me, everything was so frantic with this game. Um, especially when it came to uploads. I was, you know, I was trying to level up. I was, uh, every t like, the, the mystery pack, the free mystery pack. That thing, the every six hours, the bottom left corner, what is it? Well, you can't really see it. That one. Um, I set alarms for when it was ready to be collected because I didn't want to miss a second. Because if I timed it right, I could collect it three times in a day. That's why I did it. Uh, we're gonna have to be a bit careful with this battle here because the two Puxera is gonna be able to sweep our biggest hitter here. So, uh, or maybe you'll switch it into, which would be really good because we could get it out the way, but he can still come in one hit anyway. He doesn't, okay. So, even though I say the Jurassic Park Builder really helped me, you know, get my foot in the door. And it, it really did. Jurassic Park Builder was the game that um, I, I vividly remember uh, getting so many views on an episode. I, I, it was like a battles episode. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. It was, it was, a, it was a different time. It was long before I thought that YouTube could be a job. Um, it was just like, uh, wow, this is, this is so, I don't know, um, crazy. I guess is the only word I can, I can call it. Um, that all these people wanted to see this content. 
Because before that, you know, I was an animator and I, I spent months on a single video. Um, I think the last Legend of Link, that one, that, that was like a whole year because I was working on uh, uni work on and off the whole time. Um, and while I was, and that's why in that video you can see just how much I improved <laughs> over a whole year from start, like the last scene in it anyway. Um, I think it was a redead, the redead scene with the, the where they it opens the door. Um, that was that was the height of my ability by the time I finished that episode uh, or that video. Anyway, so going from you know spending months, if not a year, on a single video and it to blow up, I it was kind of to be expected. I was like, yeah, I, you know, I spent a lot of time on that. It's a parody. Um, I expect that. But then for me to bring up because remember i wasn't even involved in these videos um it was it was i animated it but the voices weren't mine uh oh we're in predator league already that's crazy uh, <laughs> this is so quick um the voices weren't mine and um it was just me drawing it so really nobody knew who i was or what my personality was it's just that this is him drawing it this is what he's drawn and with jurassic park builder um, it was the first time that I felt as though an audience uh, liked me, in a way. Because the only thing that was, you know, the, the gameplay or the thing on screen um, was, uh, like, completely attached to what I was speaking. Like I am now, I'm looking at the screen, and you're seeing it too, and I'm commentating on that. Whereas an animator, there's a difference. It's like my brain's communicating to you. Like, you see what I, I'm seeing. But this exactly here, I'm communicating through voice, visual, you know, all that jazz. Although there's no face cam in this video. <laughs> I'm in the dark. Yay! I don't have lights blaring at me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I don't know where I was going with this. But basically, Jurassic Park Builder was the game that gave me my start. But Jurassic World, the game, um, was the series that really blew me up. Uh, that really skyrocketed my channel to heights that I um, I didn't know were possible. <laughs> I remember um, when this all sort of uh, came out, and I was I was playing Jurassic World the game, this game right here. I was playing this game, and I was playing Jurassic Park Builder, and I was playing Dino Hunter Deadly Shores. So I had like this, this the triangle, the solid triangle of content that I could do every day. Remember, it was like three videos a day at this point. It was a Jurassic World, the game, a Jurassic Park Builder, and then maybe a Dino Hunter Deadly Shores. Um, content was a lot different back then, definitely, to what it is now, where I didn't edit much. All the editing I did was basically the thumbnail and a cut and cut in the beginning and the end. Who remembers the intros to Jurassic Park Builder where I used to go da, 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 where I just take the little snippet of the Jurassic Park theme tune or something. Um, and the ending as well. We had so many different end credits. You remember you had the you had the um, the marine tournament. You had the glacier tournament. The Jurassic tournament. Um, Oh man, it was a crazy time. I remember looking at my um, my statistics and just thinking, this is ludicrous. And I I thought that it would it would keep like because the way it accelerated was a steep incline. Um, and I thought to myself, is it going to keep on going? Like it can't keep on going. It can't it can't keep on going. There's no way that you know. Going from what five million views, if that three million views in a um, in a month, to something like fifteen to twenty million, we're talking like four. I think my first look, when I covered Jurassic World the game, my my channel hit like thirty million views in a month. I could not believe that, um, and that wasn't the highest of my channel would ever peak. But it definitely was like, what on earth is that? Because it was such a big difference. And I thought the next month I was going to go 60. I was going to 60. And I was like, oh, okay. This is, this is mental. <laughs> Ludicrous, crazy mental. There you go. All, all of the things. Um, uh, Spinosaur is nothing to be worried about. Really, is it? And then Colodocus has got half attack. Yeah, we've easily won this. Oh, wait. Spinosaur does have a lot of attack. Well, never mind. 
Oh, the, cr the crimson chin. That's a chin, except for it's more blue than crimson. Um, yeah, the interesting thing is, uh, also, when it comes to Jurassic World, the game, we have the toy line for Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, sorry, I should say. Um, but Hasbro, because remember it was Hasbro at the time, they never made toys of Jurassic World, the game. But a few, like a year or so after Jurassic World came out, they came out with a line called Hybrids. And those color schemes were color schemes from dinosaurs in Jurassic World, the game. And let me tell you, those toys were hot commodities. Like, even now, you try and search. Oh God, does that kill me? Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't kill me. Okay, good. I'm gonna switch out to the Malema Lemo, whatever it's called, it's that one. Um, yeah, like if you try and find the Indominus Rex hybrid one, you remember it had the it had the gold feet and the gold hands and it had like vampire claws. You try and find that. It doesn't sell for less than a hundred, even without a box. Because for a start, they were hard to find. And second, I think it was just linked to nostalgia. That's a hundred percent what I think happened. Um, the, you know, yes, you had the movie, um, but the toys didn't even look like the movie, like dinosaurs at all. Um, however, the toys had the same color scheme and the iconic colors of Jurassic World the game dinosaurs. Because let's be honest, the Spinosaur that you saw in this battle, the, the blue and the red, is a gorgeous color scheme. Um, well, I say gorgeous, it's vibrant, it, it stands out. And the T-Rex with its orange, um, you know, uh, you compare that to the toy line of Jurassic World, the world, like the movie, where you had the T-Rex that was just a beige. Nothing compares to the, the color schemes that you got in this game. Ooh, let's use Triceratops. Let's use Triceratops Gen 2. How I let one go. I don't care if it's been 161 weeks. Go away. <laughs> no, I don't care. Go away. Are you sure? Ah! <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you really sure? Oh, oh we oh, we went loud again. I don't know. We went loud again, apparently. <laughs> ah, it is funny. I hope I hope this this audio has recorded fine, and I don't just burst in people's eardrums. I shouldn't, because I compress my audio. Um, I say that. I'm so sorry if I've killed any of you. <laughs> oh no, this isn't so good. Uh, three, six, nine. I think we might be able to kill it. Whoa, just. Whoa, it's a close one. Oh my god. Very close. Very close. Hmm. Right. You can only go for two. So it's 1,500 damage, I would say. Thereabouts. Oh, now it's 1,400. Woo. Oh, and it goes for it. Jesus, no! Triceraplops, no! Oh, this is gonna take a miracle, guys, to win this one. But this might be the battle. Is it gonna push us over to dominate lead? Number one, zero to hero. Yes, yes, go for it. That's what I wanted, that's what I wanted. So we got two extra. He's, he's gonna have four, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two. So hopefully, Capra Suchus, or whatever it is, Cooler Suchus, doesn't kill us in two hits. Oh, it doesn't. I don't think it does. It might be close. It might be close. But I don't think it does in two hits. I don't think it does. Please go for an all-out hit. Please do it. Oh, don't kill me, though. Yes. Oh, that was so touching. <laughs> that was the closest battle. Oh, my God. In a long time. Wow. Nagai Aida. Very long time. <laughs> oh, the more Nagai Aida. Yeah, there you go. 230. Does that take us to it? Oh, number two. Oh, well, one away. <laughs> Are you kidding me? One away from the number one spot. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. We won 600 on, like, the, the low friggin' Wajima, whatever you want to call it. So we'll use a Lanqua. Um... Uh, yeah, let's use Pterodactylus. There we go. Because I think with the um, the boss missions I've got at the moment is to use 50 amphibians and 50 uh, flyers. So this will help out with that. 
tremendously. Sorry, I'm also looking at this waveform because in some parts I look super loud, in other parts I look really quiet. So, if 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 it's all normal, my god, my god. <laughs> Oh, it's been a fun ride. It really has. Not that it's over. Don't worry. I'm not leaving. But just in general, it's, it's this has been so much fun. Going, like, I've done so many different things. I don't think there's another job. Oh, there probably are, but, like, off the top of my head. Uh, a job where I've done such a variety of things that has all been or fallen under the same umbrella of work. Like, sitting here right now by myself, playing video games, commentating over them, and then... You know, other other times, I'm interviewing Jeff Goldblum. You know, like, like what what job allows you to, to do that? It, it, it is crazy. Uh, I'm going to go for two here. I don't know if I should have, because he might have three, and he'll probably have more. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I was thinking 800 attack. He might have 800, especially looking at Presta Suits' attack. But uh, luckily, we can kill him in one, so he's got three, right? Now we've got four. That's why going first is always better. Because if you've got better creatures, you're gonna win. You can go for a full on out aggressive strat and you'll never be behind. You'll always be ahead. I mean, worst case scenario, they reserve. That's it. That's the worst case scenario, but then you're gonna kill. Them. So there we go. Yeah, there, dominate the league. Can we get to number one and dominate the league? Let's do it. Let's get to number one. In Dominator League. I mean, now we should be getting amazing prizes. And you know what? 24,000 food, it's not bad. It's not the worst. Uh, no, I don't want to use those guys. I want to keep on using the Terra Sauce. Look at that. I have, I have zero Alanquas. This is crazy. This is loot. Now, we're, we're in pretty high here. We're, I'm going to use Almonodon. This is Dominator. This is supposed to be top 1%. Top players. So... Top players in the world, I might, I might add. Would that be Sekai Daichiban? Possibly. <laughs> Number one in the world. We'll see. We'll see. Alanqua. You can do it, Alanqua. Look at that. It's friggin' Serizinosaurus. A maxed Zalmoxes. And then just an Erdemophodon just because, just for the lols. Now, the problem here is that Z that Zalmoxes is going to have 50% extra attack. Now, I, as Zalmonodon, all these seasons, uh, we do have a lot of attack. Um, so, he can't kill us. He can't kill us in one hit. So, I'm, I'm confident here to go for one reserve. Otherwise, I would block for one just, just to be sure. But, we look not to be too bad. And already, I can see that the microphone is picking me up. I'm talking very quiet now, but it's picking me up very loud, which is good, but also not good. That's crazy. I could, I could talk like this. I'm really close to the microphone and it's picking me up very loudly. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's what, uh, what is going on? I have no idea what's going on. So he did attack me um, and he attacked me for one. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't know if that was the best idea. <laughs> Damn microphone! Does, oh, now you're okay! Oh, now the microphone's okay! After I've lost, bugger off! <laughs> you ass! It completely threw me! No! Damn it, it was by the time I noticed, I forgot that there was a timer in this game. Balls! Big bouncy balls, no! <laughs> Then you get out of a 20 pence vending machine. We still have bouncy balls. Uh, so, sorry, let's just go for Ankylodocus. Because that's that's the stage we're at. We're against super difficult creatures. Uh, I And the, the interesting thing is, I remember uh, when I first... Oh, so Sinoceratops at level 40? <laughs> I remember when I first started recording Jurassic World the game. And a little company came to me and wanted to offer money for me to put their website in the description of their videos. Now, 
at the time, I said no. I was like, I don't want to accept money for that. I, uh, I, th I think what you're doing is great. I'll, I'll happily add it. Um, because what I would do with Jurassic Park Builder was add up the, um, you know, I'd put in the description all of it. Yeah, should we just quit this one? Yeah, okay, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> There's no way I'm winning that one. Uh, looks like we're going to have to uh, just do some really good creatures now because... We're, we're just again, there's no way unless I'll tell you what I can do. What I can do is I can go in here I could do I can do the, you know, I can do the normal tactic. I can do this except now We need level 20 interrupter. That, that's what we're at. We're at level 20 interrupter. I didn't realize there's so much of a jump and Glodocus cannot cut it Yeah, there you go Whoo, that's a level 40 Evo of this Cephacodon. Ooh Well, there you go. The more you know uh, and that company was Game Press. I, I'm pretty sure it was Game Press. They they asked me to uh, put the link in the description of that two of my videos to their website, where people could see just all the attack. Um, there would be you know you know when you go for like multiple attacks and it sort of increases a little bit. So if you went for one attack, it would do the exact amount. You go for two attacks, it would do double and a little bit extra. You needed eight attacks, it would do times eight of the original attack plus loads extra. Now, what they did was they um, they worked out the calculation um, that you know every every two hits, every three hits, every four hits would up the attack and all the creatures. So uh, from level one to forty, I think every creature they put in how much damage each attack would do. Um, and I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna put in the description of my video. I should have said yes to accepting money. <laughs> oh dear. I was a bad business person back then. Not anymore, I was very poor. But then again, I I'm not too fussed, I'm not too fussed about that. I'm glad I could offer, you know, people who like to play the game a chance to, you know, help them out in that way, because I didn't know. I don't think I ever looked at it. The only times I would look at charts for um, uh, the app games was Jurassic Park Builder, where sometimes I would forget what was good against what. Like, remember Charge, Headbutt, and Swipe? Uh, those were the days. Oh, sorry, was it Charge, Bite, Swipe? I think at one point it was Headbutt when they first put battles into uh, Jurassic Park Builder. Ah, little did they know, eh? Little did Ludia know. Because Ludia, I remember them saying, because I, I went to see them, um, and I don't, uh, yeah, it was a while ago now. And they mentioned something about how they liked to invest in evergreen franchises, which is basically a fancy word of uh, way of saying they like to invest in series that don't all uh, that aren't risky and that will always produce money. In other words, so they bought out like I remember Ludia when their first games it was like Flintstones and um, I don't know there was just like there was some other uh, like Popeye and stuff like that Snoopy. I th maybe it was Snoopy, I don't know. They, they made some interesting games, let's say. Scooby-Doo, I think maybe was one of them. And they bought out Jurassic Park. And I think all these games were kind of the same. <laughs> I could be wrong. But I, I had the feeling that they were all the same. Um, but Jurassic Park Builder must have been that one game that stood out. Um, and they decided to add m or make it more than a park builder, more than just collecting coin, getting a new level, unlocking some decorations so you could get more coin, that sort of thing. I don't know, what about just a park builder? It must have just been making more money. And I think that was through um, books or in-game purchases. I think it must have been, because like, they didn't have packs. Packs only came into the fray in Jurassic World, the game, when Ludi had got their act together. And we're like, okay, how can we squeeze as much money out of everyone as possible? <laughs> I know what's popular at the moment. Loot crates. Let's have that in car pack form. Yes, that'll do. That'll do it. How about instead of unlocking DNA, they unlock cards? Yes. Remember Pokemon cards? Uh, the whole world was bound was was about to be reminded of them in 2020. Yet little did anyone know. Right, one, two, three, and then I'm just gonna go for two block here. I think Tarbosaur might have a lot of attack, although saying that it's only level 30, uh, or 29. Oh, ho, ho, never mind. Not even fully maxed out 1,300. It's gonna do like 5,000 attack Tarbosaurs. Slow down. 
That's crazy. One bite. Um, a level 20 Indoraptor, mind you. Ooh, Tarbosaur, I'm liking the look of you, sir. I think you're probably like one of those creatures that's a 50,000 pack, though, aren't you? I bet that's what you are. Okay, there you go. Here we go. Ooh, slowly climbing, slowly climbing. I'm gonna get that number one spot. It's gonna happen. And I'm gonna keep on getting food because that's what I want. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to keep on using good creatures here, though. I think it's time for the level 10 Indoraptors. Now, you might be thinking, well, Beavers, you're using level 20. It's only gonna get harder. Well, to be fair, the difference between level 10 and level 20 Indoraptors isn't much. It's honestly, fusing two level 10s to make a level 20 is not worth it. If all you want is that level 40, um, just to say you have it, that's the only reason to have a level 40 Indoraptor. Just to say you have it. There's no other reason. You might as well have eight level 10 Indoraptors. I need to check my super DNA, actually. I want to see if I can make any others. Okay, after this battle, we'll have a look and see what are the super hybrids we can make. Now, the reason why I haven't made any in a while is because... Um, not too long ago, they made a second hybrid out of the same super DNA as another creature, um, which was Indoraptor Gen 2. Um, instead of, because Indoraptor was super raptor DNA, and Indoraptor Gen 2 was super raptor DNA as well. The only difference between the two is I think that one cost more, maybe? I'm not sure. I think they, they lowered the price of it. I could be wrong. Um, and the Indoraptor, Indoraptor Gen 2 has less attack and a little bit more health, which in this game, See, I would be able to kill Pterodactylus now with one hit if it was a regular Indoraptor. However, I can't. And that's the big problem. The attack makes all the difference. If you're gonna be killed in this game, you're gonna be killed. It doesn't matter how much health you have. What you want is attack. That's what you want. So we're just gonna go for a big hit here. And we can't- we can just get two! Flipping two! There you go, I'm gonna break some of these headphones there. And still again. <laughs> what are you doing, Mike? Why are you making this super loud? Bugger off! Look at that, it, I, I have no idea why it's doing this. It's making all of this really loud, I apologize. And there you go, I've just, I apologize. Uh, I apologize, I am really far, you'll be able to hear I'm really far away. I'm really, well, I'm not really that, I'm as far as my headphones will allow me to go. Now, if I come towards the camera now, yeah, look, oh, jeez, you, 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 what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Woo! It's like I just forget, oh, a thousand DNA, heck yeah, I'll take that. So yeah, I'll, I'll be like blowing or peeking or something. God knows what. So I do apologize in advance. Why are you doing that? Why, why are you picking this up? There we go. Nope, never mind. We're, we're blasting again. Well, anyway, this is a super hard team. Really tough. Uh, the dragon in the middle is not so bad, but the other two are a bit tough. The first one, the Ehrlichosaurus, isn't bad because I've got Indoraptor Gen 2. Oh, sorry, Indoraptor. The Darwinopterus, though, could be a bit of an issue. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, um, one kills it, and then two reserve, because the dragon can't kill me in two hits. I know that. I think a level 40 dragon has just over a thousand attack. Yeah, thought so. Uh, and Dominopterus can only go for one hit. Yeah, I suppose Indoraptor Gen 2 has, what is it, 6,000 health, whereas Indoraptor only has 5,000. Um, I'm just going to go for that. I'm going to go for that. There you go. Uh, almost killed it. <laughs> kill it in one more. And hopefully, it goes for a full-on four attack here. That would normally be enough to kill me. Oh. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to fodder off a Lanqua here. Oh, there we go. Now I can be loud. Yay! Hey, I can be loud, guys. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! And I don't break your earphones. I have no idea. I hate audacity. <laughs> That's what you get, James, for using a free software. <laughs> And I have no idea how much reserves it had. Damn. Okay. Okay. 
What do we do? What do we do? I'm thinking that. Oh! Perfect! Couldn't have got better than that. It's beautiful. Yeah, 900. I actually had less attack. I thought it would have more. I don't know why. Even though the dragon's a hybrid, so it should technically be better. It just never is. Um, and I just thought the other one was going to be better. Because the dragon is one of those hybrids that is just awful. <laughs> Yum! There you go. Now, how many cups do I... I should get loads for that, because that was, that was close. I should get loads of cups, like definitely 30. 33! Oh, almost 400! Oh, there we go. There we go, we're rising. Rising quick. Like a tide. Like the tide in the Titanic. <laughs> Do we joke about that now? Yay! Oh, can we? Can we have a joke about it? A certain period of time when jokes become funny? I don't know. I've been watching loads of these, like, true horror videos on YouTube, and... It was all these, like, fairy sinkings and, oh, no, they're horrible. <laughs> why are you laughing, Jim? It's how I cope. Probably why that came to my mind there. But it's almost because we've got a movie called The Titanic that The Titanic doesn't feel like a real thing that happened at all, which is crazy. It just feels like, oh, it was, it was, oh, the movie? Yeah, paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm flying. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, dear. Oh, do I kill him in one hit? Ah, don't. Damn. So close. So close. Why couldn't you be level 11? That would have really helped. Oh, God, you Udon. Oh, there's so many Alago, Alago Mamos, or whatever they're called. And a Udon as well. Go on. Do your worst! You see, these, uh, it takes two hits to kill them either way. Uh, I'm tempted now. I'm gonna go for two block and one reserve here. So you can go for three hits, which does about 6,000 damage. Maybe 7,000. But I have 9,000 health, so that's good. Uh, oh, that Dilophosaur. Anybody still recognize that sound effect? Dilophosaur sound effect. It's it's from Jurassic Park Builder. They brought it over. Little, uh, little Easter egg there. I wonder, is anybody still making Jurassic Park Builder videos? I bet there must be. I bet all of those, um, all of those, like, non-commentary gameplay channels still upload Jurassic Park Builder. They just recycle the footage. They must do. <laughs> I was tempted to make a video that was, um, playing Jurassic Park Builder in 2020. <laughs> or 2021. This is gonna be me just like opening the game. Oh yeah, I can't wait to come back to the and then it just like showing the this game's no longer support, thank you. And then it would, the game would just end. <laughs> Sorry, the video would just end. I think I might still do that. The funny little joke. Should do it every year. Playing Jurassic Park Builder in 2022. Play it. <laughs> just see how bad it can get. Like someday the app won't even exist and it'll be me searching in the uh, the app store for it. Oh, there is. There are games that are like uh, Jurassic Park Builder clones, I think, that still exist. Like, the, the, they look like Jurassic Park Builder. I don't know if they have battles or anything. Oh, there you go. Ten places. Four more battles, guys. Number one. And each time we spin the wheel, we have a chance of getting good prizes. However, we always get bloody rubbish ones. Why? <laughs> no. Awful. Awful. Gorgasuchus, it is time. We will get the best. Now, if anybody else is thinking of doing don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. Because, uh, you, I mean, I'm wasting my best creatures. And in 24 hours, um, I will be down into Predator League, if not in, like, Survivor or God knows what. And my creatures that I'm using right now will still not be ready to be used again, I don't think. Ooh, do I have more than 700 attack? I think I might, even nerfed. Oh, ho, ho! go on, go. Go on, go, the boss. One, two, and one reserve, and the other two are carnivals. Oh, it's gonna be a sweep. It's gonna be a sweep. Look at that guy in that picture. Hanging with friends in a club. 
Heart breaking thingy. <laughs> Quarantine. Ah, uh, it'll be a long time ago, I bet. The guy probably doesn't even know that he's in this video because these are all bots. I remember there used to be wars in the comments of people be like, they're not, they're not, they're not bots, people, they're real people. <laughs> when this first came out. And then when Dross Will Alive came out, and I, I was like, nah, they're not going to be bots. We've had two games from Lydia, and they've never... Sorry, they're, they're not real people. They're just going to be bots. And everyone's having a go at me, like, no, no, they are real. They are real. It's like, no, you're not. You're wrong. I mean, surely you can believe why I thought they weren't real people. <laughs> Turned out, Lydia pulled a fast one on us, and they were real. And still remain to be to this day. However, Jurassic World the game... No. Oh, oh, 11 places there, guys. Even better. Oh, give me a good pack. Give me a pack. Oh, well, I'll take. I'll take a mystery. I'll take it. That's good. That's good. Because that'll help towards me doing the missions. Uh, also, yeah, I was going to have a look. Yeah, I was going to look at this super. So... I think we've got enough for a Velociraptor, an Indoraptor, we've got plenty for Mono, some for Sarko, some for Caprasuchus, plenty for Eupostaphylus and Demetrodon, I think. We could get more Super Hybrids if we really wanted to. However, chances are, something's gonna come out and I'm going to need it. Um, so, whoa, yeah, look at all that! Ooh, we're close. I think we need 700. It's boss DNA, I think. Uh, it's saying that I've done- Ooh, look at this! <gasps> look at all this super DNA, yes! Beautiful! Is that it? Oh, okay. I thought there was gonna be more. Look at that. We, how long is it? Two days. Two days. Now, if I didn't play any more, chances are I would slip. I would probably be in bronze. I would say I'd be in Survivor if I if I got to number one on the first day and didn't play anymore. Who doggy? It's gonna be another easy one, guys. Buggle yourself in. I'm gonna go for Rizif. Ah, then I'm gonna edit this. Is this gonna be an hour video? It might be close to an hour. <gasps> Ooh. Guys, if you see one of my videos that's an hour long. Is it intimidating? Or are you like, yes? <laughs> I love it. Uh, we'll go for one and then two reserves. I mean, we've probably got three battles left, including this one, so two really. Oh, look at that attack. Look at that attack. It's gorgeous. At a level 10, 4,000 damage. Do you need anything more? Correct answer. No, you don't. Oh, come on. Damn it. I was hoping that that was going to be enough. Oh, fine. I bet you're not going to attack. You're not going to do it. You're not. I knew it. I knew you would. Right, so one factor and two, and then one block, because Apatosaurus can't do anything. 500 attack gets taken down two, a whopping 231. Doesn't stand a chance. You can go for six. I can hit me for five. It'll do like 1,200 damage. It'll gum me to death. Oh, it does it! Oh, don't gum me to death. No, 2,000 damage. Oh! And I almost kill it in one hit. I think a is meant to try and take on Interruptor, like at least tank a hit, but uh, you need like 10 times that amount of health. You really do. That would be interesting. If you said a herbivore that had 10 times it had like 1 million health or something ridiculous, or maybe 100,000 health. That would be interesting. Because then it might, like, an Apatosaurus would be a challenge to take down. Like, keep Apatosaurus attack the same, but give it 100,000 health. That would be something. And that would make for a good boss. It really makes you think about, like, how you do the battles, too. So we're gonna keep on going with the Interruptor, because Interruptor takes only one day. Interruptor is legit the only kind of creature that you could use every day. And it for it to, and for it to be an OP creature. Because look at Gorgosuchus, look at Erlophosaurus. They're about the same, but three flipping days. Three days. That's crazy. Interruptor, one day. One flipping day. Interruptor boss. Interruptor big brain MVP. 
Come on, Barry. Yes, you've done no spoilers for Netflix series here. You might. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Although you are aggressive. I don't think that's a spoiler, really, is it? Look at that. I don't, look, in my uh, episode 7, Jurassic World the game, Fight or Die. Uh, <laughs> I put, um, it's time to have a few more spas in the arena and see what creature we can unlock. And I've linked my Jurassic World game, the game group. Jurassic World group? Yeah. And next you call it Jurassic World the game, the group. At that point, it was just Jurassic World. But I remember, there, there was like another group, there was a Jurassic Park Builder group on, um, on Facebook. And it was one of the biggest at the time. It was the biggest for any like Jurassic Park Builder uh, group. Um, I think it was the Lost World um, Jurassic Park Builder, something like that. Um, and it was ran by uh, Bogdan, who's another little uh, dinosaur YouTuber at the time who, uh, after a couple of years of Jurassic World the game, vanished off the face of the earth <laughs> off YouTube and then came back later. Um, and I remember when I started my group, I think he might have started a separate group, I'm not too sure, but um, I was like, oh, we'll have a Jurassic World the game group. And it was so popular. That, that Facebook page was so popular. It still is, actually. Um, even though it, like... <laughs> uh, well, I've changed it to now Jurassic World games, I think, because, I mean, with Jurassic World Alive as well, I thought, why, why just pigeonhole is just a Jurassic World the game? When it was just Jurassic World the game, fair enough, but we're gonna have plenty more Jurassic World Evolution, Jurassic World Alive, who would have thought, when Jurassic World the game came out, six years ago, we would only have, in six, six years later, two games for Jurassic World that are officially licensed, only two, six years and another movie and only two games what's going on what happened to the 90s where every film that came out had a video game and even those video games had spin-off sequels what happened to that why can't we just why does there always have to be like an a triple star plus game like we've had to rely on so many in independent developers for our dinosaur game fix this is ridiculous also, what is this team I'm facing? I've been facing like top tier dinos this whole time and now I'm facing level 40 legendaries and level 30 rares hybrids, what's going on? The only one that's a little bit of a problem is a two puxa. But you got pecky eyes. Ooh, two. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, one, two, and I think we're golden. I think that's it. We are number one in the world. How crazy is that? Number one. What other game can you say you're number one in the world at? None. That's right. <laughs> Just this one. Oh, oh dear. It is a funny. I still, I still get every now and again people uh, doing screenshots showing uh, a picture of me in their leaderboard saying, Beavis, is this you? No, just so the game isn't real. It's British. <laughs> or I'm British. 557, five, there we go. Number one. What is the best prize that we can get in the leaderboard? What is it? Let's have a look. Da da. Da, da. Food! There you have it! It was friggin' food! Well, uh, brilliant. <laughs> Did we get any other ones? I used 30 amphibians and 11 pterosaurs, so actually not that many. But we're getting closer. Um, I still need to do my missions and battles is going to be done anyway by doing the tournament. Because I think they all end at the same time. I think the tournament goes on a little bit longer. But we'll, we'll definitely level up the Omega 09 a little bit more. We need 705. In two days, we'll be able to level up to level 30. And then after that, it's going to be slow, guys. It's going to be so slow. It's going to take like a week to level up once. And at the very end, from level 39 to 40, it's going to take like a month or something ridiculous to level it up. Uh, they've planned it all because by the time you're about to level this guy up, there, I, I, look, I'm a betting guy. Bet on this. They will put another boss. When I can get this to level 32 or 33, they'll put a boss. 
they'll put another boss in and I'll have to save all my DNA up for it. So I'm tempted as to whether or not to just save now. I think once I get level 30, I think I might just save because we're gonna get a new one and well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how they do it because it may be even a separate DNA. But anyway, guys, enjoy this video. Leave a like and until next time, I'll catch you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.